now we know precisely what dogs think of us They're called man's best friend for a reason. The way dogs look at us, lick our faces, and wag their tails seem like obvious signs of affection, so it's natural that pooch owners feel a special bond. But are our canine companions capable of feeling actual love in return? This is what researchers at Emory University tried to answer in an experiment using brain scans of our furry friends. By introducing a series of scents to dogs in an MRI scanner, scientists were able to work out exactly how dogs really feel about us. Why scents? Well, as explained by Mark Spivak, one of the researchers, smell is believed to be dogs' most powerful and perhaps important scents. It was therefore practical, he added, to use it to explore canine social cognition. So just how powerful is dog's sense of smell then? Well. According to findings from Florida State University, it's between 10,000 and 100,000 times stronger than their owner's nasal power. The Emory researchers therefore suggested that by presenting pooches with familiar and unfamiliar scents, their neural responses would differ. The study examined 12 pet dogs of varying breeds. Researchers used functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI) for short to analyze a brain structure called the caudate nucleus which is connected to feelings of excitement like say an impending reward each dog was introduced to five scents their own a familiar dogs and unfamiliar dogs a familiar persons and an unfamiliar persons the scientists reckoned that the human smells would cause a stronger reaction in the caudate nucleus because it's they who provided rewards there was a bit of a hurdle to overcome first though would it be possible for dogs to keep still in a noisy enclosed MRI scanner for up to half an hour? Well, yes, but only after a rigorous training regime. Once the dogs were ready to lie patiently in the scanner, scientists measured brain responses in two areas, the aforementioned caudate nucleus and the olfactory bulb and peduncle. While the former is associated with reward processing, the latter is what's used to detect smells. What did the researchers find? Well. While the responses didn't vary too much in the olfactory bulb and peduncle, they did in the caudate nucleus. They were strongest, in fact, when a dog recognized the smell of a familiar human. The responses were, the researchers explained, similar to what a person feels when they see a photo of an absent relative or a close friend. While it's technically possible that dogs associate the familiar smell with their next meal, scientists reckoned that this was unlikely. The canine brain responses were being triggered by something distant in space and time, explained lead researcher Gregory Burns. It shows that dogs' brains have these mental representations of us that persist when we're not there. And this wasn't the first time that brain scans have been used to gauge dogs' emotional response to humans. In 2014, scientists at Budapest Iotvos Lorand University discovered that canines understand how people feel by listening to the tone of their voice. The team had hoped to discover if dogs had a specific region in their brains dedicated to recognizing and interpreting human voices, specifically meanings behind sounds rather than actual words. It's the first step, said lead researcher Attila Andix, to understanding how dogs can be so attuned to their owner's feelings. Headphones were put on 11 dogs involved in the study, all of whom then had to lie still in an MRI machine. Almost 200 dog, human, and environmental sounds were then played. The finding? The dogs have neurons that are triggered when they recognize noises made by their own species. It was also discovered that dogs' brains have an area near their eyes that responds to emotion in humans' voices. When the emotions were interpreted as positive rather than negative, the responses were stronger. It's possible, however, that dogs have evolved to respond to positive emotions because they could, in theory, relate to something that directly benefits them – a nice walk in the park, perhaps, or food. Could these discoveries therefore have an evolutionary basis? Well, according to Gregory Burns, the reward response only occurs when a dog picks up the scent of a familiar human. Whether this is based on food, play, innate genetic predisposition, or something else, he explained, remains an area for future investigation. Burns added that future research is likely to look at whether particular dogs can be identified using brain imaging methods as potential companion animals for disabled people. This will, however, depend on whether future funding will be forthcoming for any such investigation. Such experiments are certainly expensive, 
Take the SENT study, for example, which was paid for by the U.S. Department of Defense Office of Naval Research. Of the animals that were procured for the MRI experiments, just one-third could be trained to complete them. These two studies, then, have only scratched the surface in the field of social cognition in dogs. Pooch owners, though, can already delight in the fact that their pets intuitively know how they feel and are able to respond positively to their presence. If you enjoy the video, drop us a like and share. If you want more videos, subscribe now.